Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Rachel here. So I'm going to show you how I created my full face, my signature makeup look that I am obsessing over lately. So this is basically like the cat eye, foxy eyes look and it kind of gives you like a lift to your face. And it makes you look more slimmer also so i've been loving this look so before we get started please like this video subscribe to my channel and then let's get started with the tutorial okay so i showed you guys that i'm going to be using these two palettes right here these are like so affordable i don't know where you can find them now but look how like dirty they are i use them way way so much when i first got them like a year ago this one is in After Dark and After Party, and I'm going to use these both for my eyes today. I found these at Shop Hush, but that website, um, I don't know what happened. They just, they just stopped putting products in there, and the website is like out of service. But yeah, I got this. It's called Bad Habits, and they're like dupes for the Huda Beauty. If you guys haven't seen the little Huda Beauty palettes i grab this like light cream right here basically i'm just gonna set that i'm just gonna grab a thin brush small one like this and this is just my elf small precision brush and i'm gonna go in with this like nice creamy orange tone so i wanted to test this out um so basically you just grab tape and then you apply it at the end so you just want to angle it however you want to lift is if you want it more like here or more here i want it more here so i'm gonna go to tape get right there and if you're a beginner this really helps so make both um eyes very symmetrical okay so that looks pretty even and i'm pretty sure i'm just like making mine a color and basically i'm just gonna follow where my eye folds so right here i'm just defining that line that crease i have and extending it out so i'm basically creating a wing but above where my crease is it looks like tiny little horns that's what you want to do you want to do tiny little horns on your eyelid so i'm just focusing with like orangey browns dark browns not that much black just because i like how brown looks on me and then just grab a brush a blending brush and then we're just gonna blend it And then what I'm doing, I'm just focusing on the outer, extending it kind of. I'm pushing it out and I'm bringing it into almost to my crease. And then you don't want to go way too hard, especially how I'm holding the pencil. Holding the pencil. Holding the brush. I'm holding it at the end. So I'm not like going too hard. You know, you want this very soft and very light. I'll switch the palette more of a brown cool tone and i'm going to grab these browns right here and i'm going to do the same thing on top of this one i'm going to start lining it up anyways going back with this i'm actually bringing it just a little bit closer to my eyelid and then bringing it all the way back and this was like my go-to palette Whew. You guys have no idea how much I used this palette when I first got it. I was like, <gasps> I bought all, I think it's six of them. I think I bought all six of them because they were on sale and I couldn't afford the Hotter Beauty ones. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm still going to create awesome looks even though I don't have the Hotter Beauty one. And I so bad wanted the Hotter Beauty one. I think they were like 20 something each. I was like, I need these palettes. I'm just applying some brown just at the ends right here. So when I open my eyes, you still see that like pointing. There is a lot of fallout on these palettes, but you know, you could always make it work. It takes time and it takes a lot of effort and 
you know, blending and blending, but it's like it still works. I'm gonna go back with this palette and I'm gonna use this like dark Aruso. It's like a brownish purplish tone. And this is gonna go like right here, basically creating a wing. And I'm just extending it out, following the tape, and stopping over here. And then we're gonna smoke it out. And now I'm just gonna grab, and I'm gonna grab this blending brush, I'm gonna dip it into that purple, dark brown that we just did. I'm just gonna help it smoke it out all here. So I'm basically blending this one and this one together. And this is the this is where we take off the tape. Ooh, girl. Sharp. I know it looks dramatic as hell. And then tomorrow we're gonna like bring this down just a little bit. We're not gonna extend it that much. That's why we have the tape to just exaggerate the look. Basically, the one we use. And it's just gonna go right in the center and this one has a black so we're gonna do just a little wing eyeliner So then I just like press just in the corners with the black and it looks looking awesome and then I'm just gonna start with my face and this is the LA Girl Concealer and once the eyebrow comes I'm basically like erasing that wing that we did just cause see how it kind of passes my eyebrow, so I don't want that. Going here and then erasing it. And then for foundation, it is the Makeup Forever HD IMY405. This used to be my favorite foundation, and then I stopped using it. Actually, before that, I'm gonna contour, and this is so good. The Huda Beauty Tantor. This is so creamy and like so smooth. Like, oh my freaking hairs! Ugh, get out of my way. gonna hide that double chin and I love blending it with my BH Cosmetics this is 116 it's like a flat kabuki and just get in there you see that? you see how it's like freaking tantor I swear And it's like this little packaging, so much product. Just like that. And then I have my, this is a flat one from BH Cosmetics and 122. It's just like a little version of this one. And I'm just gonna start blending this in. And now we're gonna go in with our Camel Concealer and e.l.f. So good. 
And this I am gonna get like close to my nose because we want it to make it some tiny, tiny nose. Now I'm gonna go in with baking. So this one is the original from RCMA Makeup No Color Powder. But it's just like the packaging is like, you know, it's like salt. Like, let me pour some salt. But it's so much in here. I don't even remember how much this retails for. Apply it here. I think what I remembered is that I don't leave it on too long. I think that was a trick. And then I think the trick was not to leave it on for too long on my skin. So, but my trick is I'm gonna grab my loose powder from Maybelline. This is 25, so this also has like a, a tint of color. And just a little bit, I'm gonna grab my brush. And I'm gonna dip it in that Maybelline color powder and I'm gonna remove it with this one. Just so it doesn't give me like that white cast. Wow, this looks so flawless. I forgot about this. Oh my god. I need to start using that powder again. I have my Morph Morphe. I have my e.l.f. and this is their bronzer palette. And I'm just gonna grab my angled brush from BH Cosmetics and 114. And I basically, uh, see I'm almost out of it. So I'm just gonna grab this, try to grab some that's left over here. And maybe this one right here. It's just like very cool tone. So. It's a little too dark for me. Um, let me do this for my nose, actually. Let me do... I'm basically just defining... Whoa. Mm. What a mess. My Morphe bronzer and just like i don't know feel like the elf one was too dark let me warm up my face more i guess love being bronze look how good this looks so freaking good and then to finish for the eyes i'm gonna take my this is L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and it's black. Yeah, it's black brown. And this one is by far the best mascara out there. Like, so good. I used it so many times. And then I stopped and I went for the Maybelline Lash Sensational and didn't like it anymore. And you know what? I'm just gonna go back to my favorite Telescopic Mascara and never gonna change it it separates all of them and like brushes all of them you know like it doesn't clump them together and then for the lower lashes i'm not gonna do too much because i kind of want this like clean look effect so i'm gonna go back with our palettes and i'm gonna grab one of these browns right here and just a tiny bit connect it right here and there i'm just putting it right here and i'm stopping right there you see just right here in the corners and that's it that's it Start mascara apply it underneath i have this tiny little benefit brows so i'm just gonna apply some here come out my So I have this Wet n Wild 
and this is their shimmer palette look at this one it's like just because it looks so good so i have my little fleshly fluffy brush shimmer that i needed It's like not too glittery, but not too like shiny either. So okay, so now for the lips, Morphe Trendsetter. And then this is the Le Chocolat Infallible L'Oreal Paris Sweet Tea Sweet Tooth. Oh my god, it smells like chocolate. Uh, I just want to eat it. I'm just going to grab my finger. And start like tapping it and blending it in. Such like a nude, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to apply a second layer because it's so freaking good. It's like, oh my god. It's like a little sticky, but... The color is so good. For lashes, I'm gonna go in with actually false lashes, and this is from Araceli Lashes and Rosarito. I want to do individual lashes, but I just don't have a lot enough lashes to complete the look. Such a beautiful lash. And believe me, these lashes are like so bendable. Oop. Oh my god, I spit. so easy to apply it and then i basically just grab take a closer look make sure they're like even can you guys see how like these lashes are so freaking cute and i'm just gonna finish the look with my kkw beauty brightening powder just underneath the eyes that's it that's it and then finish with my Morphe setting spray and let me oh my god these damn cars and thank you so much for watching my tutorial if you guys like my video go ahead and let me own like and then comment below and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys next time bye